Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Tom Arnold's sick plan for Baron Trump just leaked. It's going down at his school. Starting to think maybe Twitter and celebrities don't mix. This time IJR is reporting that B-list actor Tom Arnold took to Twitter to claim that he intends to show up at 12-year-old Baron Trump's New York school and harass the first son in order to protest President Donald Trump's immigration policies which were signed into law in the 90s by then-President Bill Clinton and implemented by former President Barack Hussein Obama in 2014. Arnold was responding to a tweet from producer Judd Apatow who compared housing at the border as concentration camps. The True Lies actor later announced that he was teaming up with former Trump attorney Michael Cohen in order to take down President Trump. Arnold claims that Cohen has some sort of dirt on Trump and that he and Arnold will release it soon. Arnold is said to currently be prepping a Viceland investigative documentary series intended to dig up dirt and damaging recordings from President Donald Trump's past. Evidence Arnold says he intends to use to end Trump's political career. CNN reported. If Tom Arnold knows one thing, it's how to get attention. And that's exactly what he is doing now, hyping his forthcoming TV show for Viceland while stirring speculation about Michael Cohen's allegiance to President Trump. Arnold is a dedicated Trump critic. So eyebrows were raised when he tweeted a picture of himself with Cohen on Thursday night, and when Cohen retweeted it. Cohen, Trump's longtime personal lawyer and fixer, is now under federal investigation. In a series of interviews on Friday, Arnold hinted that Cohen confided in him and repeatedly suggested that Cohen is turning against Trump. But there may be less here than meets the eye. Arnold was in the lobby of the Lowe's Regency New York Hotel, where Cohen is known to be staying. Arnold was talking with Brian Hyatt, a senior writer for Rolling Stone magazine. I was with Tom and we had a polite and brief interaction with Michael Cohen after we bumped into him at the Regency Hotel, Hyatt told CNN. I took that picture of them together. Impromptu Fox and Friends interview caps President Trump's Wild Media Week. This lines up with what Cohen said on Twitter Friday night, this was a chance, public encounter in the hotel lobby where he asked for a selfie. Arnold said on CNN that he was going to spend the weekend with Cohen, which prompted Cohen to tweet, not spending the weekend together, did not discuss being on his show nor did we discuss at POTUS. Later in the evening, Arnold admitted on MSNBC that he probably oversold the extent of his conversations with Cohen. But he insisted that the two men had weekend plans. Confused yet? Maybe the better question is, are you entertained? Arnold played to the cameras in his interviews on CNN and MSNBC. One minute he was chatty. The next minute he was evasive. Sometimes he looked down the barrel of the lens mischievously, like he was having fun. Other times he sounded nervous. Some wondered if it was all just a performance. After all, Arnold has been an actor for decades. In recent years he has also been a prolific tweeter. His criticism of Trump has been unusually pointed, even by Hollywood standards. Regardless, Arnold's comments on Friday were clearly newsworthy, because he really did have an encounter with Cohen. Report, Prosecutors Subpoena National Enquirer Records in Michael Cohen Investigation On Friday afternoon Arnold told MSNBC's Nicole Wallace that Cohen knows Donald Trump does not care about him. Earlier this week, The Wall Street Journal reported that Cohen has complained about Trump not offering to pay his legal fees. CNN reported that Cohen has expressed frustration that he is not getting assistance from Trump with his substantial legal fees, according to a source familiar with the matter. Later in the day on Friday, Arnold told CNN's Poppy Harla that Cohen is working with America, he's on the good side. Arnold added, he's not working with Trump, let's put it that way. And he told MSNBC's Lawrence O'Donnell that Cohen told him I'm with you. But it remains to be seen if this is anything more than wishful thinking by Arnold. In the interviews, Arnold also teased his forthcoming Viceland show. The small Vice-branded cable channel could use some hit shows, so in May it ordered eight episodes of The Hunt for the Trump tapes with Tom Arnold. Vice said the show would follow Arnold as he uses his network of connections to undercover incriminating Trump-related tapes. For years there has been chatter about possible material in the archive of The Apprentice that might embarrass or shame the former host. On CNN, Harlow asked him, do you have any tapes of the president that the public is not already aware of? Yes, he said, we have a lot of tapes. On MSNBC, Arnold said that Cohen will be the subject of one of the episodes. But Cohen has not given him an actual interview. So viewers may have to wait until September to see if Arnold is bluffing. And that's just how he and Viceland like it. So all this is just a publicity stunt in order to get people to watch a show?
Does this man even understand that you don't go around threatening the first family? Did he ever threaten Chelsea Clinton for her father signing this law into place? Or did he ever threaten Malia and Sasha Obama for the fact that her father implemented this law and even went as far as to put illegal alien children in cages in 2014? Probably not because it's now very clear Arnold doesn't care about any children, all he cares about is saving his non-existing career and this is the only way he knows how to do it since it's highly unlikely that Roseanne Barr would ever take this never was back. Now I am starting to fully understand why Roseanne Barr kicked this guy to the curb. Notice how the only way to describe him as an actor is to go all the way back to 1994 when he had a secondary role in Arnold Schwarzenegger's and Jamie Lee Curtis True Lies. Coincidentally that film came out during his four-year-long marriage to Roseanne. Starting to see a pattern here? That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click, like, and subscribe. Thank you.